Hi, I'm Willie with H5 Technology, and thank you for coming to my channel. I want to thank all of you very much. We passed the 20,000 subscriber mark, so stay tuned for another NetTool giveaway as we head towards 25,000, where I'm going to give away uh, some other networking gear, but we'll talk about that later. What we're here to talk about tonight is the Grandstream GWN 7600LR. This is the outdoor rated access point from Grandstream and look you can see it's as big as my head there used to be a place around here called La Bamba's where there were burritos as big as your head this access point is as big as my head and it is fully weatherized and you can hear it this thing is this thing is solid uh, it's got two Ethernet ports one of those is PoE one is data reset I don't know if it passes PoE through. I don't know that. Here's the, the mounting bits that come with it, and then here is the access door for the enclosure. I'm going to go ahead and plug this in, get it powered on, and I'll show you what else is in the box. We will waste no time. So, this is the outdoor. It is a, uh, it is a MU MIMO or MIMO, people are going to get upset no matter how you pronounce it. So it's got two gigabit ports, 450 plus clients. It's got the same controllerless management inside the box. You get the quick start guide. You get the GNU public license. I wish other vendors would do this. So inside the box, then we have the rest of the mounting bits. This is the piece that actually snaps onto the access point. So it slides up the access point and it can slide in sideways it can slide in like this and then this is the other part of the clamp comes together around your mounting surface and then you have a bag of all of the mounting hardware that you're going to need so that guy should be plugged in and you, you remember our old access point that is our master so we're going to open up the grand screen grand stream discovery tool and we're going to scan. We're going to see if we can find these guys on the network. So there is the GWN7600 set as slave. So we'll click Manage Device. I'm going to go ahead and stop that because I only have two APs. So the default username and password is admin admin. And I love, I love that they make us change password. And this one even wants a new user password besides administrator password. We'll see if it'll let it be the same. This is a lab, so we can kind of do that. So it looks like it's saving, it's loading data. So what I'm going to do real quick is I'm actually going to upgrade this to the latest firmware, and then we are going to join it over here to our master. Now I'm sure that there's an easier way to do this, but this is how we're going to do it. So I'm going to go out, I'm going to find the upgrade. We're going to go out to the Grandstream support and we're going to upgrade this. And I think we've got to go here and then we're going to have to put the firmware because this should fail. Yeah, upgrade failed. We've got to put a different path in here. So let me find that path. We'll be right back. All right, so we are going to find our access point, and this is the 7600LR. And so here is the path to get the latest firmware. So we'll copy that. We'll come over here, and we'll upgrade via, we'll save this, and we'll apply that. Everything will restart, all the services will restart, and then we'll hit upgrade. Upgrade now, and it looks like the upgrade is going to roll. So we're going to let this upgrade happen real quick, and we will be right back. The upgrade finished, our device is rebooting, and it says that we may re-log in by clicking on the link below two minutes after the reboot. So we'll be right back in two minutes. Awesome. Looks like our device is back up. So we're actually going to hop over to our master and we're going to log in here. Now our master and our slave, the usernames and passwords should be the same. So we're going to do a discover AP here and see what happens. It says there are no devices discovered. 
Maybe we need to go the other way. Now remember, I said we are learning this together, and I have literally never set this up until right now. So I'm just going based off of experience. So let's log in over here. This is the LR. So we've got a setup wizard. Next, and next, APs. Use this screen to pair and unpair. Uh, but we don't want this to be, we don't want this to be the master. We don't want this to be the master, so that might be that might be the issue. Not sure how it became the master because all I did was log in and upgrade, but maybe I clicked something. If you watch the video back, maybe I uh, did something. So is there a way to change this? Um, can I change this and make it so it is not the master? Let's see. So I don't see anything quick and dirty. There could be something uh, is an edit and a configure the same thing. Looks like it is. So what I'm going to do is, and if you know how to do this, put it down in the comments because you're going to save me some time. But what I'm going to do is uh, I am actually going to get out my old handy dandy reset tool and we're going to factory reset this guy real quick. We'll be right back as soon as that's done. Okay so I did that and the LED I held it uh, 1, 1000, 2, 1000, 3, 1000 all the way to 10 and I am sure that I actually caused this um, because I was moving through that screen so quickly uh, but it flashed uh, red a couple times and now it's green and by the way if you want to see a size comparison on these this is the master, this is the outdoor. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to try this again with Willie not being so click happy. So we'll bring up our discovery tool and we'll make sure we're on our ethernet port and we'll go ahead and do a discover. Now it's, it may still be initializing I do have a green LED. I also think I may be having some switch problems. Um, totally unrelated to anything that I'm doing here. I may have a switch in the lab that is starting to go uh, belly up on us here. So could be having all kinds of little issues. You can also see doesn't look if it got an IP it doesn't look like it's the same IP and we're not picking it up here let me discover the device and we'll be right back all right so I moved switch ports around I think I've got this switch I think I'm gonna upgrade the firmware reboot it but it's all right anyway let's go to discover AP we click on that we can see we're on the 1.0.5 firmware we're gonna go ahead and click link and now you can see we are provisioning and I've got a blinking blue LED and once this is done it should provision all of the uh, the SSIDs the passwords everything so these should now be working together and then you can see the options we have over here we have delete the paired device edit bridge, locate the device, transfer to master. We are not going to do any of those at the moment. But if we look, we've got, here's our group. It's got uh, Grandstream Lab. We go to access points. We have those here. But now if we go to overview, now we've got two APs online. And you can see we're starting to get some distribution happening over here. So that is fantastic. And it was that easy, once I figured out that I had something going on here, to upgrade this and join it. And now we have an enterprise uh, Wi-Fi deployment. Now I could also edit the name on this and just call this, uh, what do we call the other one? So this would be GWN Lab 
two. So we can do that. We could give it a, a static IP. Now neither of these have static IPs, but it was literally, it's, it's really easy if you're not having other equipment problems to start doing this. And now that guy is rebooting. So once it reboots, we should be in good shape. But now we've got, you know, all of our same other um, options as we had before. Now we are going to come back to this. We're going to factory default both of these guys in the next video and we're going to join them. We're going to do, we're going to use the Grandstream router as our controller. We'll upgrade the firmware there and then we'll configure Captive Portal and a lot of these other settings that everybody wants to see. And uh, then we'll take the Grandstream router and we'll do some IPsec site to sites if we can with uh, another router. This guy appears to be back. Yep, he's online now. So um, it looks like I do have a switch problem. So I will get that upgraded so I don't have any issues in the next video. But we should be good. Uh, if you've got any questions about this access point, let me know. Put them down here in the comments and I'll try to answer them. Uh, we are going to deploy this in an office and do some videos of what the network, how it performs, what it looks like, and all that good stuff. And it will also have the Grandstream router at the head end. We're going to do the whole thing. And then, on top of that, I've got a couple of these Grandstream phones and a Grandstream phone system that we're going to configure. And I'm going to tell you how you can get a special deal from a SIP provider and all that good stuff that's coming. But... Next video with the Grandstream APs will be with the Grandstream router. It will be acting as the controller. We'll be doing configurations. And then once we do that, then we're going to move into an office build with it, and it's going to be awesome. If you want one of these access points, there'll be a link down there in the description. As always, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Please get on the H5 mailing list. You can go to h5llc.com. Get on that mailing list. That way, if this YouTube thing ever goes away, I can still contact you with all the good information that you've been waiting for. Uh, we also have a Discord channel. The link's down there. Charlie's our admin, and he does an awesome job. If you want to buy any other gear that's recommended by me and H5, uh, you can go to the Amazon shop that is down there. Uh, as always, I appreciate all of you. We're over 20,000. 25 is right around the corner. Come back for those NetTool giveaway details. And as always, we'll see you in the next video.